What's up guys? Alright, so I know I haven't posted a video in quite some time, but I figured I'd post one today. Um, to, I mean, the market's just been slow. You guys know, like, mostly, like, in the summer months, it's been a little bit slow. Coming towards the summer, um, you know, things slow down. But it doesn't mean that there aren't opportunities. There are always opportunities. It's just sometimes you got to, you know, be faster or, or just in and out a lot quicker. Um, but this morning, man, the scanner was looking like garbage. There was nothing really uh, moving like like it should. But ADMA was one that was um, um, looking okay. It wasn't the greatest. So I figured I'd scalp this one really quick. And as you guys can see, um, basically I saw this was... Uh, it, it had some good momentum. It was it was pulling up. It was it had some pretty good momentum, and then uh, as you can see, this candle right here is kind of like a pullback. So as soon as um you know this candle right here was broken, I kind of jumped in and I actually hit the hot key by mistake this morning. So I jumped the gun a little bit, but I gave it a, I gave it a chance, and then it did what it was supposed to do. I identified this problem area right there. As you can see, I sold exactly there, and then I just kind of waited for a pullback, jumped in above go time, which is my normal strategy, and because it just didn't give me a big, uh, you know, a big of a move that I really wanted, I kind of just sold quickly, and I got out, and that was it. I was done for the day, and now, as you can see, look at this thing. Now, this thing, of course, is going to rip through the moon after it kind of, um, <laughs> it's crazy, right? So, now it's ripping all the way up. It's continue. Look, this thing is just strong now. But um, let me show you guys what happened really quick. As you guys can see, ADMA, I jumped in at 236. I sold at 244. Um, jumped back in at 244, and then I sold at 247. Not the biggest trades, but, you know, today's a very slow day. Um, it is what it is. So let me show you guys on the video here. how things went down so as you can see 9304 so basically I'm watching this candle here and I'm waiting for this candle to be broken so I could jump into um, let's play it really quick so it popped above it and I'm trying to see if it's going to hold of course I hit the hotkeys by mistake a little bit too early because I was waiting for it to climb back up but you know I figured it's still strong let me jump in let me keep holding it, and as you can see, I know this is a problem area, and I'm selling at the problem area. Boom. Let me pause this really quick. So how did I know that this right here is a problem area? It's very simple. What you do is you go to your daily chart. So above go time, you go back, you look back, and you see the area where it went to before it came down so as you can see it went to this area right here before it went down so this would be a problem area and if you want to be technical like I drew my line pretty quick if you want to be technical you could have just done I don't want to be like anal about it but this area right here is the problem area and then as you can see above this area it went to this level before it came down and then above this area, it went to this level. Even this one's not perfect, but you know you don't, you don't need to be 100% perfect all the time. Um, but this right here was an area where it came to an issue before it went down. And then above that, it's all the way up there before it went down. So that's how I'm identifying these problem areas. So now, again, you hit your daily chart and look back left up left up left up so you can kind of see it's kind of like you know these stocks trade in channels so this is a channel this is a channel this is a channel and this is a channel so now we go back to our one minute chart and you can see exactly um well let's let's actually zoom in a little bit you can see exactly where this thing came into an issue it's not i mean you can kind of see it touch this line and then it started coming back down that's why i sold right there um once it did that 
Now I'm waiting for my normal strategy above go time. And as soon as it popped up above go time, I knew this was going to be a problem area. So I was watching volume to see if it's going to be strong or weak. But um, my thing was, if I jump in above go time and it slammed down below go time, I was just going to sell quick. And if it did go above this problem area, it should be a little, a little surge, a little pop. And it's still early into the game, so I was pretty confident. It's above VWAP. Um, everything looks good. The EMAs look like they're going up, and, you know, the direction of them is going up. So, again, you know, if it's above VWAP, the buyers are in control. I'm a long, I'm a long buys trader, so I normally buy. So the buyers are in control, and if it's below VWAP, the sellers are in control. So because it was above uh, go time and it's above VWAP, I felt confident that it's going to go up. But it didn't make as big as a move that I thought because I was anticipating it to go to this level. Once it popped, I was expecting it to go up to this level, and then I would have walked away. But it just didn't. It went up this high and started coming down, so I quickly sold. Uh, let me play the video so you guys can kind of see what happened. Um, okay, so we already went with this trade. So now you know what goes up must come down. So now I have to wait for it to come down. I have to wait. Like these stocks, they're pretty much like real living organisms. You know, they breathe in, they breathe out. They breathe out, they breathe in. You know, so that's how I look at it. So now I saw that it breathed out. So now I have to wait for it to breathe in. And then on its way back out, I'm going to jump back in above go time. So I know this area is a problem area. So I'm waiting for it to get to this area to see if it's going to pop. So let me fast forward this. This is like a minute long. All right. So I see it's gaining momentum again. It's gaining momentum. So I'm waiting for it to jump above here. That's going to show me strength. And I'm waiting to see if it pops above this problem area. Because I'm jumping in before the problem area. I'm trying to jump in and see if it's going to pop above it. Because it's it's more likely to have a short squeeze. Because all the shorters are sitting right there. And if, and if these shorters get um, knocked out, it should be a nice little pop. So... Let's fast forward. A, well, yeah, let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, here we go. So now I'm watching it above go time. So I see it touching go time. And now as soon as it breaks that line, I'm going to hit my hotkeys. Bam, I'm in as soon as it broke that line. So now I know if it goes below go time, I'm out. But I'm waiting for that pop because I know this right here. There's that pop. And as you can see, I'm selling as soon as it popped and started coming down on me. Um, it just wasn't super strong, and I knew the market wasn't super strong. So, of course, I'm going to take faster moves and quicker moves. And these were the only two trades that I took. I should have took. A, <laughs> I should have waited and took another trade and wait. watch this pullback over here and take another trade. But, you know, I'm not going to continue to fight for 5, 10 cents. You know, if the market was like stronger, I would have stayed longer, but it did end up making a nice move afterwards. But look, this was a false breakout and then like it just I just didn't want to stick around for it. You know, I just didn't. Some days I just walk away early. I'm I'm not going to keep fighting like for instance, you know, above here you're at 244. And then you're at 51. This, it just, the market is just too slow. So I, I don't want to risk more capital. Um, of course, I didn't hit my daily goal, but I made a quick 440. That's not bad for a couple minutes. Three minutes, right? This is one, two, three. So as you can see, I jumped in at 9.30.10. I was done at 9.32.53. Um, it is what it is, man. Today's not the, I mean, this, this, it just it just wasn't super hot. It wasn't super, and plus this one was was super high float. This isn't really something I normally trade. It was just nothing else available, so I had to kind of go with this one. All right. So again, if you guys want to learn the strategy, go ahead and hit me up. You can hit the email below. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't posted any videos because, um, you know, we've hired some virtual assistants and, you know, on the real estate side. So you guys know I do stocks and real estate. So we hired some virtual assistants and we've been training these guys and we're trying to get the system going. We got the podio set up. We got all this extra stuff set up, batch, batch leads. We got all this extra stuff set up and now it's just trying to track KPIs, just trying to see how many calls these guys are making. Like in the beginning phase, I didn't really want to do it because um, I kind of liked the little system I had before. As you guys know, I was a one-man team, and I, I kind of like being a one-man team because to me, I could just go pull leads, skip trace the leads, blast those leads out, and then the people who respond... I personally get back to them and then I'll close one or two or three every month, you know? So to me, it was good. And plus I make money doing day trading. So to me, being a one man band, it wasn't, it wasn't, I liked it. <laughs> you know, I kind of liked it. But one of my boys, one of my friends actually hit me up. He said, look, I know you're good at what you do. Let's partner up. Let's get more money. And at that point, he said he would do all the end, he would do all the back end work, which still, because the goal in life is to have um, free time. Time is the most valuable asset on earth. So everything I try to do, it has to be either a little bit of my time and high income, or it has to be zero of my time and high income. So I try to create things that just does not take much of my time because I, I like my quality time all right so now we're just training these guys um trying to get them going and that's about it that's why i haven't really posted many videos so we've just been training these guys these virtual assistants so we hired two of them right now um hopefully we get some more soon and hopefully these guys but for some reason, man, we might, we might, we, we may have to fire one or two, one of them, because they're just like not picking things up quick enough. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with them, but I'm gonna have a session with them, and then we'll probably put them on a trial, trial, um, a trial period. But if you guys are are looking to learn the real estate side of the business, and you want to learn how to do cold calling as well, and you want to learn what questions to ask and how to qualify um, how to qualify people really quickly and how to how to determine if, if you know if, if you have a deal there or not I'm that's what I'm very good at I can talk to someone and I can figure out if they they're ready to go or if, if the deal is even a deal I can find that out like I'm very good at that I can determine that in like like very short amount of time I can uh, qualify somebody and see if they're ready to go or not. But, um, you know, I lock, I lock deals up left and right. So that's why for me, as a one-man band, it wasn't so bad because I let the systems do the work. And then as soon as someone raises their hands, then I'll jump on the phone because I'm a closer and I'll close the deal, um, you know, and everyone's happy. But, you know, hiring people is just a whole transition of training them and some of them are just never going to be as good as you are. Some of them might be. We just haven't ran, ran into, you know, again, this is new. So we just haven't um, hired a rock star yet. To me, they're not rock stars, but they're okay for now. So we'll see how things go. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Or I might not. If you guys comment and like on this video, I might continue to um, update you guys. But if I don't get likes, like I said, I'm not motivated. I'll just, YouTube is not my, my thing. Um, so I don't really have to post videos all the time. But if you guys like updates, you know, comment on the video and hit the like button, subscribe, uh, share the video. And, um, you know, I'll be happy to inform you guys. But, you know, like, I like my quality time and I like my personal time. So I don't feel like posting stuff all the time. But if you guys give me a reason to, then, of course, I'll do it. All right. So other than that, man, um, that's it for the day. 
uh, quick 440 today on these wasn't the best day but you know I've showed you guys how to make quick 6k and uh, you know I show you guys how to make a quick 440 bucks I've showed you guys how you know I try to put out a lot of con well a lot of information in some of my videos like some people won't won't put certain things but me I try to I try to help as much as I can but um, again, I need you guys' participation. If there's no participation, uh, I, this isn't something I need to do. I don't make money off YouTube, so I don't really, uh, I don't really, let me look at the stock real quick. I don't really feel like keep posting videos if it's not, if people are not interacting. Like, I like the interaction. So, if there's no interaction, then you know, I might as well just keep making money silently, like I always do. Like, I'm a private person. I don't really care if I don't communicate with other people. You know what I mean? So, I kind of like my quality time. I'm more of a private person anyway. So, But if other people ask me certain things, I am kind of open. And I do a lot of training. Oh, yeah. And I've been doing a, a few trainings. So, I've been training other people. So, that's part of the reason I haven't posted many videos. But if you guys, um, if you guys are interested in learning about day trading... I day trade, as you can see today, what, three minutes? So, I day trade, um, and then I do real estate deals. So, I've always been a one-man band because everything I do doesn't really take up much of my time. And then, they're high income, so, and I don't have any debt. So, you know, everything I have is paid for. Uh, no mortgage, no no car note, none of that stuff. So I try to pay cash for everything that I have. So I don't have any debt at all. So, um, you know, so basically everything I make, I keep. Um, to me, it's a simpler life. But, you know, everybody has their, uh, and to each his own, everybody has their way of living and what's, what's valuable to them. But for me, time is very valuable. If I don't have time freedom, then, you know, most likely I'll probably walk away. So, but, you know, sometimes you got to put time into things that will create more time later on. Like these VAs, you know, I decided, you know what, let me spend some of my time with them and, and, and see uh, and train them for a while. And if they're getting it, that's going to allow me to make even more and have you know it's gonna allow me to have more income and allow me to have way more time freedom once things start rolling so of course i'm gonna do that but other than that that's about it um if you guys have any questions again hit me up oh yeah trade ideas if you guys don't have trade ideas you better sign up for it i got the link down below go ahead you need trade ideas i mean trade ideas is Trade Ideas helps me find these stocks. And if you guys need my, my the way I set this up, um, I can give that to you as long as you show me that you uh, signed up through me, through my link. It is an affiliate link. So if you guys sign up through me, I'll go ahead and I'll give you this layout for free. I normally charge 300 bucks for it, but I'll give it away for free. I don't really care um, as long as you show me that you did sign up through me i'll go through my link and i'll go ahead and uh give this to you for free all right guys so i'll catch you guys on the next one again comment below like subscribe share the video if you find any value in this one all right so we'll talk later